Have you ever wanted to wear any sort of cat ear horns? Literally any headgear of any type with your cosplay without having to wear a headband that digs into your skull and just gives you headaches throughout like an entire convention day, like even an hour. Well, I am so excited to share this with you today. And I'm sorry for all my non-cosplay interested viewers, but like... Well, I've got a product to share with you today. I don't know what it's going to be like, but it's called the Cosband. It's basically an elastic hairband you put under your wig, which has magnets in it, which you can attach the magnets to whatever headpiece you want attached to your cosplay, and then it just kind of sticks to your head, and it's like the best idea ever. I'm not sure how, how the product's going to be. I'll open it in a minute, but like, just the description alone, I was hooked. I was ready. So I contacted them, and they were kindly enough to send me over a free cosband to share with you guys and we're gonna deep dive into this invention together. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering why this package was so big. There's a lot, a lot in here. Okay, okay, okay. There is a white bag, a black bag. Oh, <laughs> please? Let's open up this one first. I don't know which is what and who is where. So, oh, this is the, the band. Bring it to life. And also in this bag is, oh, you get some spare magnets. You're cool, let's stick together. And I think these are a pair of ears that come with the set. So you have something to stick on your head. And an instruction manual and a little sticker. There's all the info, but we're just gonna figure this out. It's an elasticated band. I'm not quite sure what fabric this is on the top layer, but it has like a grip to it. So I'm assuming when you have your wigs on, it should help it stick a little bit better. And then it secures with a bit of Velcro. I'm probably doing this completely wrong. I'll put it on with a wig in a bit, but ta-da. Let's open the Your Cool pouch. These are spare magnets, so I can use them for different cosplay things, which I'll get into in a minute. And these must be the ears. Oh, they're actually really soft. So there's a fabric part right there. I think you put the magnet on top, then put that bit. Oh, helps you put the magnet the right way around. And oh, that's so smart. I'm, I'm digging this. It will obviously look better with a wig on. We'll do that in a bit. It's also in this. Oh, gems. Oh, it says it says on the front it's a cute band. So is it like the uh? It is, it's the headband one. Another Your Cool pouch. And these have little 3D printed, I think, little magnetic ears. Ooh. And you can use those different gems to either decorate the little triangles or you could probably put your own ears over top of the triangles. And then we have these. I don't know if they're for this band or the other one. They are so soft. I think they're little interchangeable ears. I think they might be for this band. So exactly what I was talking about. I guess you just slide it over top of the triangle. Look at that. And the cool thing about this set, because the whole headband is metal, you can move the ears up and down. So say if you had like little cow ears, you could put them on the sides. Ooh. If you had little bunny ears, you could put them up the top here. And you could also do like mismatching ones. Oh, that is really cute. I love that, it's so smart. As I mentioned at the start of this video, I was looking for a way of attaching ears without having a headband, and I found the cosband because it's magnetic and it's smart. This is because I'm cosplaying two characters, Mew Ichigo from Tokyo and Mew Mew, and Katra from Shira. Here she is. So as you can see, this is the Katra wig. And I didn't want to ruin her top spikes by having a metal headband over the top. And I was like, wait, how am I going to put a headband over the top of her spikes? Because they'll just flatten and look really sad. So I did a lot of Googling and found the cosband. And I think I could have a little magnet there. And I had a similar issue for my new Ichigo. I haven't cut the, the bangs area yet, but... I think it's gonna look so much cuter than having like a black headband over the top. I'm in the midst of making separate ears for these characters already, so I'm not gonna be using the ears that come with the cosband for the final cosplays, but I'll be wearing the ones that come with the cosband to just kind of show you how it works and all that jazz. So if you wanna see full cosplay photos and videos, check out my TikTok and Instagram. They are beautiful. We love them. So let's try them on and see how it all works. Just tying up my hair and then putting it in a net wig cap 
and then attaching the cos band to the back of my head with the velcro then the wig and then line up the magnets with the magnets on the band and there we go wow it's catra so here they are on the catra wig i usually like spirit gum on the mask but i'm lazy so i'm just gonna hold it <laughs> you can tell they're not really going anywhere the, the wig's jiggling but the ears are there and as i mentioned before i will be doing my own catra ears i won't be using these ones but they do look really well for like they work really well for Catra. It's kind of strange being Catra in normie makeup, but here is my little cause test for her. Let's jump into Mew Ichigo. There they are. Ooh. I think, because you can actually move the magnets inside the underneath headband up and down. I push them to the side for Catra, but I think for Mew Ichigo, I'd put them a little bit up here. Sometimes the magnets fall out of the little pouch, but I think for when I make the, the ears for these cosplays, I will like sew the or hot glue the magnets into the ears, so won't have that issue. Final thoughts, I need to cut the fringe on this wig, it's very long, but final thoughts on the ears? I like them, I really like this idea. My crit, my crit. Honestly, there's not much. My, my first one being the band's a little bit too long for my head. Like I know it's meant to be adjustable, but the fact that it's elastic and still really long, there's a lot of excess um, Velcro, which I'm a little bit worried about when it comes to my catcher wig, which was took me like a week to make, spike, cut and all of that. I would hate for the Velcro to get stuck onto the wig and then I peel it up and then the wig is like ruined. I would, I would cry. But on the flip side of that, if you have a large head, you can fit into the cos band. If you have a small head, you can fit into it, but I think I might look into like trimming mine a little bit, um, cutting off a little bit of the XS Velcro, and then I'm good. And the other crit is a very small, small thing. Maybe put it in a nude color, because the current one is black, which is great for dark wigs, and my natural hair is dark brown, so it's fine. But for light wigs, you can kind of see like a mix of my hairline and the headband through a light coloured wig so I would think if I was wearing like a white wig or a grey wig you would probably see it through like for light coloured wigs I usually wear a nude hairnet so I, I should be wearing a nude hairnet I'm wearing a black one but you can kind of see it through a little bit if you're, if you're looking hard enough but honestly it's a lot less noticeable than like an actual headband going over the top of your head so they are very very small crits. Other than that, I think it's a really really smart idea, especially if you're doing a lot of different characters with different horns and hats. You could use it for literally anything, as long as they're not too heavy. But even if they are heavy, you could just use a, a couple of different magnets maybe. I know there's only one magnet on the inside, but maybe you could mod it to put more in there. You, you can- the sky's your limit. But yeah, thank you so much Cosband team for sending over the ears. They also do do like an, an electronic tail, I'm pretty sure, which is quite interesting. And they also do the headband version, which they also kindly sent over. If you have any ideas for them, let me know in the comments down below. I could pass on any notes, what kind of other magnetic ideas would be good for your costumes. If you want to check out my Mew Ichigo and catch her when they're finished, I'll be posting full photo shoots and TikTok up really, really soon. I can't wait to share them with you guys. They'll be on my TikTok, Instagram. Twitter, everything, link down below. Like look, they don't fall off or anything. I'm so happy with these. A big thanks to my patrons, you make these videos happen. <laughs> Thank you so much if you're interested in becoming a Patreon. Links are down below, you'll get to see all the behind the scenes and all that jazz and get a shout out in every single video, isn't that nice? And you get to see all my cosplay photo shoots full sets for as low as $1. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.